question. And we've seen how, as Robbie said, entertainment is always about targeting children and to normalize evil. You are speaking about the LGBTQIA community. You have to be very careful. Do you understand now why I'm saying I'm very scared? I'm scared. I'm scared. Very, very scared. Gender fluid means my gender changes depending on the day or week or even depending on the hour. Even the cartoons promote kids to become transgender and all these things. The most amazing princess! But they ran away! And all they left behind was this. Everyone, there's something I need to tell you. The princess who came to your ball tonight was me. <laughs> I'm Gonzarella. But Gonzo, why didn't Vu tell us? Because you all expected me to look a certain way. We're living in a very dangerous time. Everything is dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I'm hearing another song. We're, que we're queer. We're here. We're coming for your kids. That's a threat. Look at this. <laughs> Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this. <laughs> Alrighty then you guys and in today's video we're gonna talk about something that irritates me and I've spoken about this before Guys remember when I did that video About that gay choir that was singing we'll convert your children And I was like now nah, I take it serious It's not a joke to me when they say they're gonna convert the children because then you look around at the world and what they are trying to feed into our kids this LGBTQIA+, or the transgenderism stuff. And it seems like, when you look around, that they really are coming for the children. I view it as a threat, because that's what it is. They don't want to say, it's just a joke, not everything is just a joke. And I know that not every gay, lesbian, or transgender person, bisexual person, people that fall under that group of alphabets in that community, are gunning for children. But there are creeps that are, they really are. There's a guy in America that was just recently, I think he was arrested or he's going to court for having a child um, on his laptop. So uh, they, they, they why, why, what is this thing that's going on with these people, man? That they trying to get the kids. And then they're trying to make normalized, as in, it's okay for elderly people to be attracted to kids. It's not a sick thing. It's just how they feel. It's a, it's a normal thing. It will never be normal. You can never look at a child and be attracted to a child. If it's a girl, I don't care. I don't know I don't next. They're just straight. What is appealing about a little child's body? Nothing. They are children. Now recently, I'm hearing another song. We're, que we're queer. We're here. We're coming for your kids. Listen to this. How anybody else tries to put it to you, I don't care how anybody else has, tries to give it to you. Like, oh, they just, it's just satire, it's just sarcasm. That's a threat. You see what I mean? 
So when the when the choir was singing, we'll convert your children, and it's already been getting converted. And then these parents, some of the mom was saying, she knows that a child is transgender in the belly. <laughs> Guys, this is a sick world, eh? This is a very sick world. So they really are coming for the kids. We all know this already, anyway. But it's so wrong, hey? Parents, protect your kids. Take a look around at what's going on. The devil has gotten into some people. And the worst part of experiencing our country ripping at the seams is that our enemies are massing, feasting on the tastiness of our weaknesses. Look at what they're trying to do in SA right now. Divo 2 and Pastor Bay covered this a while back when they were talking about kids and schools and I can't really remember what was being said there but it seemed like they are trying to they want full control of your children whereby you're not gonna have um, a really big say in what happens in your children's lives like children can even terminate their pregnancies and their parents wouldn't know they can speak to the teachers they have to remove they're always trying to be his break down that family structure that family unit there's no person out there that's gonna love your kids more than you but they want to pick our kids out so our kids can be worldly our kids can listen to them trust them governments we it's our kids and yes they're trying to convert our children you better try that shit with my child i will body slam you all i'm not a violent woman mara when it comes to my kids don't cross the line they're indoctrinating the kids don't cross that line and parents it's very important for you guys to actually teach your kids at home about these freaky things that they are doing out there so your kids can know where the danger's at you teach your kids yes your kids go to school we actually don't know what happens there at school we were in school at some point but our parents didn't know what we were actually getting up to in those hours it could have been anything how many of you, like myself, has banked class and the teachers are chasing you? It was such a thrill. It was so much fun. Then you got into trouble. We did that naughty kind of stuff. But now it's like, it's not even the kids that are being naughty. It's the adults. The government. After lockdown, it's even worse. We don't know what's happening behind those gates. And then make it a habit, like I do, to go into your ch children's schools unexpectedly. To just go see. Pretend as if your child left something at home. Go see what's going on in those places. Because something funny is going on over there. Something funny is going on over there. Inst instill morals and values in your children at home. And tell them about the creepers so they know what to look out for. My fellow LGBTQIA plus baby, y'all are doing too much. And yes, I'm going to be the one to say it because if a straight person says that y'all going to say they're homophobic, this, that, and the third, and it's like, no, boo, you're just doing the most and it's really not cute. Because can someone explain to me why I'm seeing all these pride videos, people in the streets acting like they ain't got no fucking home training, but us see boo, chi, chi, chi's all out on display for everybody to see, middle New York, broad daylight, minors present, like when it, since when is that okay, sis? Because it's not. And bitch, don't get it twisted. On a scale of one to classy, I'm not giving royal family by any means. Like I love to turn up, shake some ass and have a good time, but bitch, time and place. And, th and that was not it. Y'all, when I tell you I saw this chick, practically nothing on on top of a water fountain, water spraying all up in her cookies, nookies, and crannies. A, a bit. I'm just wondering what type of antibiotic that doctor's gonna prescribe for all that. People hanging from street lights, hooking up on the side of the road. What in the land before time, Neanderthal behavior? Raggedy is the word for it. They already don't fuck with us like that, and this is how you want them to perceive us. Pride is an event based around acceptance and equality, not an excuse for y'all to act a fucking fool. All right, y'all. As long as you guys know that that does not represent the entire LGBTQIA plus community. Even I'm like, what the fuck? <sighs> Do better. So they know where the danger's at. And they know when to be on high alert for these people that are trying to convert them. Instill those morals and values at home. Teach your kids about Jesus and the importance of reading their Bible. Educate your kids first before they go out into the world because the world... It's gonna put funny things in your kids' minds. Did you see? Um, they want to teach them about love, love, Mara, like same sex, love, love, intricate stuff about masturbation and stuff like that. Why? 
Why? Satan will change the name of sin to make sin adaptable to accept. So instead of changing our ways, we will change the wording. Instead of pedophilia, we'll call it minor attracted people. Instead of sexual exploitation, let's call it adult entertainment. Instead of sex cults where we bump and grind, we'll just call them music clubs. Instead of cults, we'll call them clubs. Instead of adultery, we'll call it swinging and open marriages. Instead of mental illness, let's call it gender dysphoria. Instead of gender mutilation, let's call it gender transitioning. Instead of fornication, let's call it intimacy. Instead of lust, let's call it love. Instead of calling it a spiritual battle of good and evil, let's call it political. Let's call it a, a phobia. Let's call it hate speech. Call it something else. We are not called baby killers. We're called abortionists. It's no longer sin. It's a complex. It's an addiction. It's a disorder. It's an obsession. So we don't feel bad about our sins. We change the name of them. And when we hear the truth preached, we feel conviction but we condemn the preacher as hate speech and they're gonna say it's because we want to keep the kids safe it's education it's not this is not like really what they're talking about it's not the kind of lo that we were doing it's really not eh? And so this song came out and i was like oh not these ones again once again they want to convert the kids and they're not even shy about it. And they say, we're not going anywhere. They're very cocky and arrogant about it. It's like, you can't do anything because all governments are on their side. Inclusive this, inclusive that. Look what Capitec was doing on their website with the pride thing. Woolworths doing the same thing. KFC doing the same thing. They're all doing it because they want to be inclusive. Why? Everything has been fine all this time. Why is it speeding up and they're doing these things more frequently all the time? It happened with Target and people were boycotting Target. I did a video about it. Now they're bringing it here and doing these things here. There's a country, I think it's Uganda, and the president was like one of the African countries. He's like, they're not going to do those things here. You, they, they will go to jail. In some countries, they get stoned. But now do you understand why? You understand why? It's a very tricky, dangerous game that these people are playing and it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. It's dirty. Convert the children. Why are you going to come, come for us? Let's see what's going to happen. Come and try to convert us adults, not children. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to start looking into And I've been talking about it to my man. Let's look into homeschooling because something funny is going on out there. It's nonsense. And that's why, guys, I know that some of you guys work very hard. You come back home, you're tired. You need to flip through your kids' books. You need to read everything. You go through everything with them. So you know what they're being taught at school. What's in these books? Because sometimes you're going to find freaky things. There was a book my son was reading. And one of the characters' names. What, what was his name? It was Dick, ne? And my child was like, oh, Mommy? Can I say that word? He's walking out now. I, I saw you. It's holidays, guys. He just took a packet of noodles, but he's not cooking the noodles. He eats them like they chips now. I don't know where he's getting this funny thing from. But he likes it. And he was very shocked and taken aback. Oh, oh the character's name is Dick. I want to It's like, they, anyway, they can squeeze these weird things in. They'll squeeze it in. And if a small child like that can be like, <gasps> he felt uncomfortable and had to ask permission from me if he could say this word. Because when he spelled it out in his mind and he's reading, he's like, <gasps> ooh, that's like a private part. Why is his name this, mommy? 